supposed to be coming up here. Go take a look. The security guard pulled out on me. Had the ice. Wrong. What the hell went wrong? Let's move it. is where it's at. Yeah? Don't forget the Courvoyer sparkling water. Of course. From Belgium. Much more delicate than that French stuff. That Tamla Van Vriesen's gonna be the end of you, Junior. Just because a guy is from South Philly doesn't mean he can't improve himself. Four Adam 30 and all units in the vicinity. A 211 silent at Wallace Diamond Exchange, 210 Central. Four Adam 30, handle code three. Don't they know it's Sunday? No, what they're probably counting up. Four Adam 30, Roger. Okay, let's go. I'll get in touch with her. Elise, she'll be proud. Can you remember anything about the suspects? Description? Anything at all that could help us nail them? I just saw the one. It went so fast. Large, small, color hair, anything, Ben. Big guy. Just the one. He's a black guy. I feel so worn down. Hang in there, Ben. Who's Elise? His wife? His daughter. She goes to the university. We'll have campus security notify her. We go back to the same academy class together. All Ben ever wanted was to be a cop. He had a heart murmur when he was a kid. Background investigators found out it's third week in training. City doctors didn't want to take a chance. That's rough when you want it so bad. Yeah, well, it wasn't a heart murmur that put him down today. A settling torch, magnesium bar, in and out of a roof. Pros with a tight M.O. that you and I are going to nail. We're going to nail them for Ben. Stacy, 
What do you hear from the hospital? Ben Edwards is out of surgery. Weak, but improving. Great. Well, Romano, does the computer show anything? I think we got ourselves a prime suspect. All right. The magnesium torch and roof entry ammo fits three suspects, but two of them are in prison. Which leaves? A Miami-born con named Cody Mayfield. I'm getting a mug wired right now. You want to believe he's wanted for this kind of caper in three states? Put him on the FBI's wanted list, too. I have one question. I'm on the safety tail. Why are you two nosing into my case? Well, you didn't show on the scene, Holland. We didn't think you'd mind the help. Don't you think we should put out a bulletin on this description of Mayfield until the mugs are in? I'll make my case my way, Sergeant. Right now, I'm going to the hospital and see how our security guards do. Oh, Ben Edwards just got out of surgery. I can give you everything he was able to remember in my report. What's in your report and what I can get Hooker are two different things. In case you didn't hear me the first time, stay out of my case. What's his problem? Bad case of burning ambition. Durbin. What are you doing around here, man? Playing with the idea that my favorite snitch has been scamming me. <laughs> man, you get everything I got you. You're the one with the hammer. That gram of H I caught you with is going straight to the DA if I get one bad answer. What does the DA think about you hanging on to that junk and pumping me for six months? Well, he doesn't have to know about that part of it, Durbin. Now, I want Cody Mayfield. Wanted in three states for safe burglary. I, I don't know no Cody May, Mayfield. He just lied to me again, Durbin. One of our blue suits ran the M.O. He got the name Mayfield. I checked it a little bit further. Now, you want to keep lying to me? Or you want me to drop the hammer? <laughs> OK, man, I, I know Cody. We, uh, we get a little time together in Lexington. See, I overheard this conversation he was having about this safe job. I passed it on to you. That's all there is to it. Why should I believe you? There was a, another part of the conversation I overheard, uh, something about it being a, an inside setup. The uh, security guard had been paid to look the other way. Durbin, you got 24 hours to deliver Mayfield to me, or I take your package to the DA. Shots of that Mayfield suspect. Good. Did Holland get these out to all the roll calls? Not so far. Romano, contact the lab, have them make hundreds of copies of that, and I'll shove them down Holland's throat if I have to. What's the word on your friend Ben Edwards? Well, he's still in the recovery room, no visitors. And the hospital staff said our good detective Holland sent Ben's daughter out of the visitor's room in tears. I'm about to find out why. Oh, Vince, I have a message for you. I think. You think? Well, it's to a special officer, Vincent Romano. Oh. <laughs> Pamela called, huh? Well, not exactly. Her butler did. I want to get this exact. Miss Pamela will be expecting you for tea Monday next. Well, that's the way people do things at the top of the social register. Well, if you climb too fast, Romano, you're gonna get a nosebleed. Jealous, Stacy? <laughs> sure. I always did want my blood to be as blue as my uniform. And, of course, have a butler to call my boyfriend so I didn't have to talk to him myself. Ta-ta, Vincent. Ta-ta. I didn't put mug shots out on Mayfield because I'm going to take him down my way. Well, asking for a little help from the troops isn't going to cost you a bus credit, Holland. Let's just get the grime off the street and into jail. It'll happen, Hooker. I'm working on it. The way you've been working on Ben Edwards' daughter? I had to ask her a few questions. Hey, wait Do you mind? Yes. She put in a couple of calls to me. When I got back to her, she was frantic. 
She said your questions were tantamount to accusing your father of being involved in the Wallace Vault job. Is that correct? If involved means being principal to a crime, the answer is yes. Hey, listen, Hoff. I know this guy. He's a friend of mine. I'd like very much to... Sorry, get... Hooker. Edwards is under investigation. You know the rules. No favor. I'm not asking for any favors. I'm telling you, I know him. He's a friend of mine. He's as clean as they come. Oh. Then why was your friend, Ben Edwards, on a job yesterday when he still had two days of his vacation left? How do you explain this note that I found in his uniform? Wallace Vault, Sunday, noon. daughter? Hooker, she's beautiful. And she's my goddaughter. Don't you forget that, Romano. Elise! Hooker. Hiya, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Thanks for coming. How's your dad? There's a lot of pain, but the doctor says he's on the mend. Good. And where's your mom? She won't be here today, Hooker. Uh, my mother lives in San Francisco now. They're divorced. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't know that. It's my partner, Vince Romano. Hi. Hi. We're all saying a few words for your dad. It's nice to get so much support. Except for that Holland character. Have you talked to him yet? Yeah. Uh, you told me that your dad went to work on a Sunday with days left on his vacation. You know anything about that? Yeah. I think that was because of, um, because of the way things have been lately. Between you and your dad? Father and daughter fighting over the same things he and mom used to fight over. His work. What's wrong with his work? He's a bright, intelligent man, Hooker. He has so much more potential than being a door shaker. Hey, Elise, he's putting you through college. Maybe something else isn't what he wants to do. Well, anyway, our arguments on Sunday probably got to be too much. So when the phone call came in, he put on his uniform and he left. What phone call? We weren't saying much to one another by then. Elise, I heard the news about your dad, and I uh, thought I'd and see how it was done. Since when did you care anything about my father? Lance on loose, huh? Jerry Lee Lewis. T.J. Hooker. I'm a friend of Ben's. This is my partner, Vince Romano. It's an honor, Mr. Lewis. Vince? Uh, if you don't mind me saying, Elise doesn't seem to like you very much. Well, I'll tell you, uh, on the road, Ben worked personal security for me for about three years, and uh, I fired him last year. I don't think any of his family really liked me, I guess, but... I just came back here to see Ben, and that's what I intend to do. So if you'll excuse me. There goes one of a kind. You like his music, too? Oh, I like his music. Well, we can finally agree on something. Musically speaking. Hey, Hoss, how you feeling? Hey, Jerry Lee. Nice. What a surprise. A regular reunion. Oh, on. two of my favorite people at the same time. Did you meet Hooker? Hooker's more than just a cop on this thing. He's Elise's godfather. He pulled all the strings for the wife and me and sped up Elise's adoption by more than a year. You don't say. Well, that calls for a regular hottie. Yeah, Hooker? <laughs> Elise was about two then, I think, wasn't yeah. she, Ben? And no little girl had more love from her father. Well, then, uh, nothing changed, huh, Ben? She's a fine daughter, Jerry Lee. Excuse me, Jerry. Oh. Ben, I gotta ask you these things. You went in on the job, on your vacation, with a note in your pocket. Wallace Vault, noon Sunday. Why? Well, one of the guards called me uh, from the company, and he wanted me to fill in for him, and uh, he had some kind of family business to take care of. Did the call come through the guard uh, service or direct? He called me. Uh, I don't know. I guess he just didn't want to ask the boss. Uh, why, Hooker? Is there something wrong? Well, a detective has a piece of information that needs to be verified. This guard, what's his name? Uh, it's uh, Joey. Joey Bonner. How well do you know Joey Bonner? Hardly at all. Just another one of the guards down at the company. Seems like a nice enough fella to me. Oh, God, I'm just getting a little frazzled here. You hang in that hall to get you some rest. I'll be back to see you soon. Well, thank you for coming, Jerry. And if you think of anything, Ben, Anything else? Call me. Sure, sure thing, Hooker. Okay. 
So what's with Holland? Well, I had him uh, looking on the other side of town, just like you wanted. But he's making you for that Wallace vault job. So he ID'd my M.O. What's the difference? Job's done. Man, he is going crazy. He wants me to turn you. Maybe I ought to turn you, Durbin. That punk god you touted me on, Joey Bonner, he split with my cash. Some replacement god showed up, almost blew the whole deal. Look, man, I told you Bonner didn't come with any references. Just a young drunk who hung out there at the club that you could buy real easy. Nothing more than that. All right. Forget Bonner. It's time we put that Coalfield Exchange job together and blow town. That cop Holland is squeezing me for you. You know the guy that taught me safes? He had a hungry cop on his tail once. You know what he did? He turned it all around. Pretty soon he owned the cop. Are we gonna own some cop, Cody? Easy when he's hungry. First you give him the bait. Where's this bait gonna come from? Well, he wants me, so I'm the bait. The prize catch, Cody Mayfield. But he'll get a whole nother ball game. Enough to make him look good. Enough for us to own him. Got your call for backup. Where's the action? A few miles up the road. Just follow me in. Holland, I got some new information on Ben Edwards. Tell it to the DA. Charges are being filed. Aren't you moving a little fast? I just talked to Edwards. There was another guard, a Joey Bonner. Right. Joey Bonner was supposed to be on the job, but Edwards took his place. A trade between them without company knowledge. It was a favor Ben did to a fellow worker. He hardly knew him otherwise. Favor to advance a conspiracy, maybe. I talked to the security company. Bonner's dropped from sight. Doesn't that make you suspicious? It's more fuel for the conspiracy theory. But I'll put a one out on Bonner for you. Find Bonner. He can clear Edwards. Don't make a charge on the basis of a snitch's word. My source says this is a righteous bust, Hooker, and I've got the evidence to back it up. Then take a hard look at your source. They may just be leading you around by the nose. He gets me the right kind of bus, friend. As a matter of fact, that's where we're headed right now. He just called and told me where I might catch a safe cracker. Cody Mayfield? Now's your chance to see firsthand if my source is reliable or not. Let's roll. <laughs> They just entered the park. Time to go. I gotta go see the fence, give them a look. I'll be back in about an hour. Bring me back the six pack, huh? Yeah. Clean up this joint, will you? Source is only half right. Yeah. Still a good part of the stolen gems. Not bad for half right, huh? No help for Ben Edwards. Our friend Nichols in there isn't being very cooperative. Nothing at all, even about that garden bonner. He's ice. Did your friend Edward say that it was Nichols who shot him? 
Romano was at the hospital, showing him the mugshots. See if the DA's office served indictment papers on Ben this morning. What? He's relapsed. Doctor said no visitors till tomorrow, so I couldn't show him Nichols' picture. Just had to have your numbers, didn't you? Couldn't wait until you knew for sure. I know for sure. It was my information. Now I got another one on my information. It's all too easy. What's that supposed to mean? Well, just ask yourself, isn't it possible that you've been fed just enough to satisfy your hunger for a bust? And this source of yours is holding back dessert, Mayfield? Are you trying to say, Hooker, that I'm being played? Why not? It's happened before. The cop's too eager for a collar. Captain, I'm not going to stand here and let some blue suiter lay insults no, on no, me. Let's just settle down. Let, Hooker, let's just settle down. I don't, want a, I don't want a war in this precinct. Now, Holland, Hooker's just trying to suggest that. I don't care what he's suggesting. My record speaks for itself. Hooker, the full records came through on Joy Barner. It seems like he's been in trouble all his life and all over the country, with some heavier crimes sprinkled in. Did you run an associate correlation like I asked? Barner's tied to Mayfield, but indirectly. Mayfield's associates included a man named Frank Durbin. On one of Joy Barner's drunk driving arrest reports, there's a Frank Durbin listed as a bartender witness at a local club. The printout shows Durbin was in prison with Mayfield in 76. Didn't you say that uh, Edwards barely knew Joy Bonner? He was just a fellow employee? That's what he told me. Then he lied. March, two years ago in Memphis, it seems that your friend Ben Edwards and Joy Bonner were booked into the same jail together on a drug charge. Possession of heroin for sale. Okay, if you don't believe Ben went in on the vault robbery, then explain why he lied to you about Joey Bonner. Well, I'll have the answer to that when the doctors let us see him. He was booked with Bonner Hooker, possession for sale. But the Memphis authorities prosecuted Bonner only. They let Ben go, so there's an explanation. I believe in the man I know. Meanwhile, we hunt for Bonner. He's the key, Junior. Oh, no noise. This is our kind of music. Uh, nothing you can get arrested for. <laughs> well, uh, is Ben okay? Well, physically he's okay. We're still trying to clear him. Things seem to be stacking up against him, though. This man, Joey Bonner, supposedly hangs out here. Have you ever seen him? Is he the one responsible for the things stacking up against Ben? Jerry Lee, Ben's been lying to me about how well he knows Joey Bonner. Well, I know Ben's always protected that guy, man. Then you know Bonner? A couple of years back, yeah, Bonner started following my band around, and, uh, I believe he was into drugs. I told Ben to get rid of him. But Ben always wanted to keep the kid around and give him another chance. And one night in Memphis, Bonner got busted by an undercover agent dealing in drugs. Heroin? Could have been, I don't know, but Ben told the cops it was uh, his own stash and that the kid was pushing it for him. So Ben got pulled in alongside Bonner? They kept him too. Then I, I went down to the jail. I told the whole story. And then they let Ben go and they kept Bonner. That's when I fired Ben, I sent him on home. 
I think the guy would have ruined Ben's life and destroyed his family. Why is Ben sticking his neck out for that guy? I suppose for the same reason he's always done it. Which is? Well, Joey Bonner is Ben's stepbrother. His stepbrother. Do you have any idea where we might be able to find Joey Bonner? Well, there's a rumor around that uh, he's been hiding. And uh, there's another rumor that uh, that pretty lady right over there is his girlfriend. And her name is Mary Beth. Get out of here, Joey Bonner. Ben, look, man, I'm scared. Real scared. That's your problem, Joey. The cops, do they? No, they don't know anything about your involvement, except that I took your place. Words out the safe crackers. They're looking to kill me. At least you don't have the cops chasing you, too. Now get out of here. Get out of my life. This time, get out for good. Try this. Joey Bonner knows too much, and the boys he's playing with don't like loose ends. All right, Beth. A friend of mine is lying in a hospital with two bullet holes in his chest, and he's looking at a felony prosecution, I think because he was trying to help Joey Bonner. You're helping to destroy a man's life, and what for? So you can keep Joey Bonner clean? It's too late for that. He stepped in dirt the first time he sat down with Cody Mayfield. If you don't tell us, where Joey is, before Mayfield gets a hold of him, Joey won't survive. My sweetheart, jail is better than dead. He's on this, he's in a motel on the San Fernando Road, the corral. Lou, where's Holland? What are you trying to say to me, little life? What I'm saying to you is that uh, you're practically our partner now, Holland. You know that? <laughs> I mean, you went for it, old buddy. What do you got now, huh? You got some of the stones recovered, you got some second banana in custody, and Mayfield got away. And if either one of us gets picked up, we say that the cop was in on it all the way, just trying to make a big name for himself and cut himself in on a part of the proceeds, huh? Here, <laughs> take a look at this. Take a real hard look at that. That's 5,000 big ones deposited in your bank account the day after the big bust. <laughs> you know who did that? Old Cody Mayfield did that. Now what we're talking about here, huh? You think those people are gonna believe that their great big deal super cop wasn't in on this? Uh -uh. Not a chance. You ain't squeezing me no more, Holland. <laughs> You won't get away with it, scum. Try me, huh? We're sending your big, brilliant career right down the tubes. You can count on it. We own you, copper. We own you. <laughs>
You're innocent, Dan. And I'm proving it. In spite of you lying to me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Here's what I'm talking about. I'm Jerry Bond. We got him. He's going to jail. And no way you're going to protect him any longer. Ben, please, you got to help me. Now, you want to tell me the truth? Well, after Joey got out of jail in Memphis, he came out here. And uh, I got him a job. I phoned the papers to cover the company background check because I wanted to see him get a new start. So he used you again. Dad. He's the black sheep. He's my half-brother, honey. See, I kept him away from you and your mother. He's my blood, Hooker. I know that you know what I'm talking about. I want to hear the rest. Well, he called me on Sunday. And he told me the whole story. Said he did a lot of drinking out the Palomino and hooked up with a bartender, got introduced to some safe cracker, and before you know it, he was taking money to look the other way while they got into the Wallace Vault. But it was you at the Wallace Vault on Sunday. Because Joey got scared. He got cold feet. And he called me the Sunday before the job was to go down for advice. And I, I convinced him not to do anything. And I took a shift. See, what I figured was that I would arrest these guys on the job. Then I was going to tell Joey to get the hell out of my life. I still don't understand one thing. Why did you do it all by yourself? You could have called the police, had help, accomplished the same thing. You wanted to take the crooks down by yourself, didn't you, Ben? But why, Dad? Why did you do it alone? Maybe it was because it was the only way he could prove that he was doing something important. Something to make his daughter proud of him. Isn't that it, Ben? Proud of what he does for a living. Dad, is that true? So you wanted to be a hero? There's all kinds of... Reasons for ambition. I remember the day you took off that gold badge to climb back in that blue suit. <laughs> I thought you were crazy. I climbed to the top of the detective ladder. I found it empty. So I climbed back down. Got back in touch. The bartender. Frank Durbin. He has to be the way to Mayfield. His name just comes into everything too much. 206 Elm Drive is the address Stacy ran down on him. Do we give it to Holland or what? We're five blocks from Elm Drive. The what has it? found Detective Holland's snitch. Oh, Hawker, this just came in. An invitation from Jerry Lee Lewis for you and your guests. Guests? Really? You want to go? You can go. Oh, no, look at this. The same night. The Vienna String Quartet. Are you kidding? I just spent 30 bucks to rent the tuxedo. I can't believe it. I... I'm committed, totally committed. To Pamela Van Driesen. Captain. Yes. Have you seen Hollow? What? Does he know about Durbin's murder yet? Well, he figures it was Mayfield, according to his source, anyway. I was about to suggest that Durbin was Holland's source all along. No, oh, can't be. Uh, Durbin's dead. 
Holland turned new information on Mayfield. We're putting together a task force to move on it. Holland's sources Mayfield is going to hit again. Today. According to my information, which did not come from Durban, Mayfield will hit somewhere in the Diamond Exchange District today at 5 p.m. I've run down the companies that are holding a large enough booty for him to be interested. I've narrowed it down to four companies. Now, Herring and Marsh will stake out the Fisher Company. You two will take the Jewel Crafters. And, well, you two, since Mayfield might clear your friend, I'll give you your choice. Pick right, and he's your caller. No, it's your case. You make out the stake assignment. I want to give you every opportunity, Hooker. We'll take Cofeld Exchange. You're sure? Seems to me that Bovier Jewelers is a much more likely location. It does have more avenues of escape. OK, we'll take Bovier Jewelers. Let's hit it. Hold on, hold up. Let's talk about this. Third floor. Not the top floor? That isn't Mayfield's M.O. What's grinding on you, Hooker? <laughs> I was sure that Holland maneuvered you out of the Cofeld Exchange. That map Holland threw away. He must know that's Mayfield's next hit. <laughs> Outside exits. You go to the fire escape. Four Adam 30 needs assistance. Colfeld building. I've got him ten, Hooker. You go around the other way. I'll cover you. Ramona's got the downstairs covered. He can't get away. He's armed. I want him right now. Let's go. I'm staying right with you, Holland. Backup's on the way. There's no need to push it. This is my case. You're going to take orders from me. I want Mayfield right now. Move out, mister. Don't shoot, Holland. Oh. All right there. I'll take it from here, Hooker. He'll never bring me in alive. I saw him kill Durbin. Now he wants to kill me. Make it look legal because I can burn him. Hold it. My collar, Holland. On the ground, face down. I 
almost wish you'd try. because you felt sorry for some crummy security guard. That's the way it goes, Holland. You had informants, connections, a hot record of arrests, and the wrong kind of ambition. I've got friends. dedicate this next song to uh, some personal friends of mine, Mr. Ben Edwards and his daughter Elise, but not back over here. From Jerry Lee Lewis, especially to you, Philip. Hope you enjoy. Oh, a whole lot of shaking going on. All right. Whoa. Identification time here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Come on, mama. Oh, that'll shake it all on. No way. He told me that he'd like to hang around and see you graduate. Why not? I feel I've learned how to be a real daughter this time. You're terrific, you know that? I saw you. Oh. Hey, Romano. What happened to the string Mama. quartet? I didn't go. So where's Miss Pamela? Miss Pamela is, is nowhere is where she is. You know how she introduced me to her high-class friends? Wiggle Mr. It. Romano is a legal field practitioner. Wiggle it. I'm a cop. I'm not ashamed of being a cop. I like being a cop. Who's she to apologize Ooh, for me? Me, 